On today's video, let's answer one of the most popular questions out there. Alex or Richard primary in the Richard Alex March? In this video, we're going to go over what is the difference between a primary and a secondary commander, how you pick which one you want to have, and what are the trade-offs of having either or as primary? So don't forget to, of course, slap a like on the video and let's go. Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to Gecko Gaming. I've been watching a lot of season two KVKs lately. I'm seeing a lot of Alex primaries with Richard secondaries, and I'm not liking it at all because Richard should be primary. And in this video, we'll explain to you why that is. I've been hearing many, many, many reasons why uh, this or that are the reason, the, the good, the best way to set up a pair. But nobody really goes into the details, into the fine tuning as to what the difference in a primary and a secondary commander is and why they pick this over that and whether or not it's good or not. So let's start off by defining what a primary commander is within a march. The primary commander of a march, either Richard or Alexander in this case, is going to be the commander whose talents are going to be relevant for said march. They will affect the march as a whole. Said commander's equipment will affect the march stats as a whole. And said commander's skills will be the first ones to proc once the correct rage amount is uh, is achieved. And of course, the passive skills are always there. So the main three things that differentiate between a primary and a secondary commander are the talents take effect, the equipment takes effect, and who procs skills first. There is a hidden... Number four reason why you put a certain commander as a primary commander, and that is primarily to hide a secondary commander. When you have a march on the field, the primary commander is the picture that you see on the march. And from there, the secondary's picture only shows up when he or she procs a skill. And therefore, commanders like YSG, for example, which are notoriously popular to be targeted, tend to be hidden as secondary commanders to allow them to survive a little bit longer and not get instantly swarmed slash targeted. And so in this particular case, we have two different types of infantry commanders. We have Richard and Alexander, whose usability is completely different and whose talent trees are very different. And so the question is, which one comes first? Infantry in general tend to be the tankier marches on the in the game their primary thing is defense and infantry more than damage and attack and so a great example for that being richard the first is a proper infantry commander per se whose primary skills and things are defense as well as some healing a lot of healing damage reductions a uh, damage taken reduced counter attack defense 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 a little bit of a attack boost as well but his primary thing is tanking, defending, and holding on for dear life. And that is why he's a defense commander as well. Alexander, different than what infantry troops are, is a more attack-based infantry commander. His thing is to offset more attack. He, he has a great increased damage type of skills uh, with some shielding for absorbing some damage for more tankiness, uh, more damage factor, more attack bonuses. He's more geared towards attack with a little tag of defense buffs. So Alex in general is a very attack driven commander while Richard is a garrison defense type of commander. And so a lot of people think that because this is the attack commander, they should put him primary to make to do more damage. And this is actually false. What you really want to do is you want to play to the strengths of the said type of troop you have unless you're going to double down on changing its characteristics. What do I mean by that? I mean by that, for example, that if you take a Guan Yu Alexander, now you have a pair of infantry commanders who are solely devoted to cause as much damage as humanly possible through skill and through attack. And so when you have a Guan and an Alex behind it, Guan Alex are a little bit more heavy towards the damage dealing than the tankiness of, of infantry. But when it comes to Alexander and Charles Martel and, uh, and Richard, and by the way, Charles Martel being the same thing, 
These are more defensive infantry commanders, and they highlight more the defense part of infantry. And so by having a defensive commander as a secondary to an attack commander you're in, in a defensive set of troops, then you're actually not getting the best bang out of your buck. What you're really looking for is you're really looking to set up your Richard as a primary commander that highlights uh, the defense talents to get yourself some extra defense on your tanky infantry. Of course, you do want to have some firepower in your infantry department on your infantry tree, but this would be a very generic, uh, a very generic Richard uh, fighting tree, I guess you can call it, an open field tree per se, um, not a garrison one, where you're highlighting a lot of the defense and you're making sure that your infantry is as tanky as it can be with a hint of attack, which is the secondary Alex. If you want to put a Alex one, for example, I wouldn't use that pair and I'll explain why that is in a future video. But if you tell me you're putting Alex in one secondary, I would understand that more than having a Richard secondary with an Alex. Although in that case, still, that is not what you want to do. You want to have Guan primary. But the bottom line is that you really want to have the defense tree available to make your, your infantry even tankier, take less damage do a little bit of less damage might even take even further have a chance to cause a little bit of extra damage and this is a, an important one to help yourself do a little bit of extra extra damage after every skill you heal so you're continually defending and getting on the defensive side and by being more defensive and being more tanky you're allowing your alex to last longer the problem with infantry is that when you start gearing them towards towards um towards attack is that they get a little squishier and with our, our Richard you definitely are trying to make him tankier and therefore a defensive tree primary rather than a attack tree primary would be much much better obviously we're not looking at versatility or garrison whatsoever when we're talking open field strictly and yeah Richard primary is definitely the way you want to go by the way the same concept goes for Charles Martel a lot of you folks have Charles Martel as a secondary because you have him set up as a garrison primary. And in that case, perfect. You're, got, you're doing great. But if you don't need him as your garrison commander anymore, then a Charles Martel Alexander open field march is actually a very, very nasty one for the same exact reason. You're highlighting the tankiness of your infantry with a good hint of defense, of, of attack through Alex. And you're going to get better long-term results with a defensive infantry set with a hint of attack than an attack with a hint of defense because it's just not how the troops are meant to be played. Again, this varies a lot when you talk about different pairs. For example, once we're talking again Guan Yu, Guan Yu is a skill-based commander. We're talking a ton of skill damage plus normal attack bonuses and attack reductions and all that. So he's heavy attack bonuses. He's very heavy on the skill damage, damage dealing. And so when you bring an infantry with Guan, that's an infantry that is supposedly more defensive, but your primary commander is making, and secondary in that case, will make them more offensive, and that will counter that quite nicely. So if you told me you're doing Guan Richard, I would tell you the same thing, which is put that Guan secondary. And the only reason I, I might put that Guan primary is because of the skill damage tree, uh, the skill tree and the skill damage you can get out of all this and rejuvenate and all that good stuff. So there is a world in which because of the skill tree itself, you might want to put Guan as a secondary to Richard, as a primary to Richard. But when it comes to Richard or Alexander, the only question is whether you prefer attack or defense tree to be the tree that your march is after, the talent tree that your march is solely dedicated to. And in between defense and attack, defense wins when it comes to infantry. There are other pairs of commanders out there that changed the usability, quote unquote, of set of types of commanders. For example, cavalry is very heavy. It was very heavy for a little bit towards attack, but then came Genghis Khan and started making it a little bit more of a skill damage type of commander with extra skill damage. And then Atel Takeda brought them back, bought cavalry back into being an attack based pair of uh, set of commander uh, of troops rather than a, uh, a skill damage based. The same went for archers. Archers were very heavy skill damage for a little bit. And then came Ramses, who slowed things down a little bit in terms of the skill damage, but added more attack and more tankiness to it. So, of course, 
It varies a lot in between the types of troops that you're using and the types of commanders that you're using. But remember that every commander is not only a troop type commander, but they also have sub usability. And when it comes to Richard and Alex, Richard is a tanky defense healing guy. Alex is more of a damage dealer, an straight up an attack damage dealer. And when you're combining the two, you want to you wanna know which one's the primary one out of the two. Look at the types of troops that you're using and they will tell you which one of the two you should be highlighting and that in infantry is defense. That's my way of, of thinking of why Richard should go first. Now, obviously, there is plenty of reports out there that'll prove, prove the case. Obviously, when you look at reports, the reports are not going to be 100% concrete the same because... Each tree is different. Each tree has things like 10% chance, which means that 10% chance each report is going to be a little bit different. And we're going to need a huge amount of reports to get like a median of what the result would be out of all these reports. But try it yourself. See what works better for you. Alex Richard or Richard Alex. If your Richard is set up correctly and you have the gear on him, you should be seeing much better results than an Alex Richard. What do you all think? Leave me a comment down below. How do you justify putting Alex uh, at secondary and Richard primary? Leave me a comment down below. I'm getting home out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your weekend. Take care. Peace.